Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with a video uh, miniature market of uh, kind of some used uh, gaming items we have for sale. This is our uh, this is our kind of like our uh, use case uh, the stuff we take in uh, off consignment. We put in here and basically. You know, take a, vi a video from time to time, but we also sell it to people that come in the store. And it's just kind of, you know, assembled stuff or gently used, things like that. So uh, if you see anything here that, uh, that interests you, definitely shoot me an email at rbear0002 at gmail.com. And we can uh, work out the uh, the details of payment arrangements and stuff. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's always some pretty good deals in here because we, we pick up a pretty good, pretty good amount of stuff. It looks like a couple things sold uh, from yesterday already couple holes in the case from when I reset it for today's video so anyways uh, let's take a look here up on the top we got some uh, some painted minotaurs it looks like pretty pretty good looking uh, I've had these for a while they're actually a friend of mine so these just kind of been sitting here uh, some canvas hounds in the back these are some uh, looks like some everybody things on the left and some Oberos minis on the front there or towards the right uh, they're all about 10 five ten fifteen bucks each there uh then we got some uh some tomb king stuff i think that whole squad we got at 20 bucks and a couple of the uh a couple single models then we got some chariots at five dollars each um looks like some uh objectives there in the back for a dollar each some converted converted objectives and things uh then we got uh, some lord of the rings minis dragon there a bunch of vampire account stuff on the cheap. Uh, looks like some Blood Knights, some old school Graveguard. Uh, those are the old metal ones. Uh, down here we've got. Uh, looks like some uh, set of the new plastic Minoth. Bunch of Necron stuff. Um, some Cryptex, Overlord, some Spiders, Stalker, Deceiver, some Scarabs. Some heavy destroyers, some destroyers, uh, some epic units. I think the top is a drop pod, and the box underneath it's um, a battle company of some sort, a Marines. Uh, Croxagor and a Wave Serpent, or Falcon rather. A couple of attack bikes missing some parts, some weapons it looks like. Uh, some converted crew, about 10 converted crew there. With uh, shield drones as uh, little shields and uh, close combat weapons in their left hands. A uh, little Mercs Army. Uh, there's a painted one in there at 10 bucks, and I think some uh, some single ones at 5 They're not too bad. Uh, these are just some random Eldar models. Some of the old commandos actually look like little burglars and some BFG ships. Uh, down here we got a bunch of privateer units. I can't even tell what half the stuff is. It looks like a Lich Lord Asphyxius. I know there's some uh, Revenant crew in here. Um, Everblade model. A big Everblade model. I can't even really tell. Uh, looks like there's a bag of orcs there. Those are the Black Reach ones, partially painted. Um, a couple other orc units. Those are some Silver Helms, I think, for the old metal Silver Helms for uh, High Elves. Then I got a bunch of crisis suits here. Um, they all come with the heads. I didn't put the heads on them yet, but there's some pretty, some pretty neat converted uh, crisis suits, uh, different poses and uh, weapon variants, uh, suit variants from Forge Worlds and stuff. They come with most of the. Uh, if you see in the back there, they come with the uh, the Forge World, uh, all the extra weapons and stuff for the arms. So you can magnetize them and do whatever. But I think there's about nine suits in there. I'll, I'll fully convert it up. They're pretty sweet. Uh, a couple bags of Necron. Oh, there's a big bag of Crute. Uh, I think there's about 20 or 30 of them in there. Fully assembled. Uh, and then you got some bag of Berserkers in the back. 11 of them, I guess. A couple Monoliths. Uh, a little bit of gluing required there, but they're not too bad. Uh, a couple Ghost Arcs. Needs a little gluing, but not too bad. Most of the parts are there and everything. Uh, I think they're magnetized too, which is kind of crazy. Uh, a couple bags of Necron Warriors, uh, painted up and based. I don't think the basing was done, though. Uh, over here, this is just where we keep some of the Maxim Mini stuff. Uh, just normal stuff we stock for the store. It's not really uh, any deals or anything there. So, 
that's kind of all we got for today, but, uh, you know, this is a bunch of stuff, and this, like I said, I try to take a video as frequent as possible, because there's always uh, new stuff coming in and going out, so, if, like I said, if you're interested in any of this stuff, definitely, uh, definitely price to move, uh, or make me an offer, you know, uh, just send me an email, rbear0002 at gmail.com, and I'll definitely take a look at it, and, uh, see if we can come to an agreement there. Uh, so, anyways, uh, thanks for watching the uh, Spiky Bits Miniature Market. I'm MBG Rob Bear. Happy gaming. Spiky Bits.